Uh, welcome again. Uh, this is the next tutorial. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have seen how to uh, add the uh, Google Ads as a satellite image or Landsat 8 image in Google Ads and uh, bound by using our steady area or uh, geometry. Again, we have uh, seen how to filter the image by using color, uh, color cover for less than uh, 5 uh, percent color coverage. And we have filtered the image for a specific date. And uh, we have also uh, used uh, cloud mask function in order to remove the cloud cover and the cloud shadow from uh, the image. So uh, we have written uh, these codes in order to do these uh, tasks. Next, we have also seen how to composite the image, uh, how to make a composite image. Uh, uh, to do so, we have written uh, this collection or this uh, code which used to call, uh, composite this uh, uh, Landsat image bands. So today we will see how to classify uh, this Landsat image uh, using uh, machine learning algorithm like render force classifier. For this purpose, I have uh, created uh, first of all, first we have to uh, create or you have to select uh, training samples for different land cover uh, from your imagery. For this purpose, I have created five land covers for my specific area, water, forest, farmland, built up in shrubland for this tutorial purpose. So first you have to uh, select uh, training data or samples for uh, each uh, land cover classes. For the first class for uh, water body, I have selected around 30 points uh, using this uh, point selection tool. So if you check the geometry here, uh, you can open. Actually, it is around this. Yeah, these are uh, points that shows uh, uh, water body from uh, for this specific area of my yeah water body uh, the lake in the uh, water bodies and. the uh, I have also selected around uh, uh, 25 elements so you have to take as much as possible larger number of uh, training samples for each classes so for first three like uh, I have selected around 25 subclasses so you can open your uh, forest uh, point uh, features so similarly uh, you have to select uh, as much as you can uh, maximum number of training sample for each classes so similarly uh, you have to select for uh, all classes i have already uh, collected these uh, training samples for five uh, land cover classes once you have uh, collected uh, these training samples for all classes uh, then you have to uh, determine this uh, image which is uh, uh, this training samples we used to uh, classify the entire image so uh, next will be classification after composing the image so uh, first you have to determine or describe the training pointers so uh, variable training point water then dot merge in brackets you have to write the name of your uh, uh, land covers forest dot merge farmland dot merge built up dot merge shrublands so the, here you have uh, declared our variables as training pointers next will be uh, these training points will be taken from this image which is a clipped uh, image i have already uh, composited for the next i have clipped the image so this is my uh, variable that i am going to classify the image so uh, this training data is from the clipped image so you have to declare it like this 
And this is uh, the property of uh, training point, which is LC, uh, scale up to 30 meters spatial resolution. So this LC is uh, from the property of the polygon. When you select the point uh, data, so you have to give their ID and uh, description. So here I have written LC <coughs> and the name of the uh, uh, land cover is water body and I have to you have to select this uh, feature collection uh, to import into the uh, repository so I have selected feature collection and it has this own value originally and you have to select uh, specify or uh, you have to specify the color so this is from the property of the image and the 30 is a special resolution of the training samples which is 30 meter from the landsat image next is declaring the variable so uh, variable as classifier is equal to classify dot uh, support vector machine this is uh, classifier in GEE or Google engine used to uh, classify the image uh, next uh, to classify the image you have to write classifier which is this one do training by using training features training data class property by using uh, lc then input property uh, and uh, you have to use this bands in order to classify the image this is a landsat 8 image uh, surface reflectance bands so i am going to consider uh, this bands uh, to classify the image next is uh, writing the classified image as clipped classify by using this classifier so uh, this code will uh, take the training sample which is uh, created from the image and it uses the property of the image and the scale value which is 30 meter spatial resolution and uh, using uh, this machine learning algorithm which is supported vector machine and there's a classifier using this property of uh, bands of Landsat 8 image and it uh, classifies the image which is clipped by using uh, this classifier so in order to uh, add this classified clipped image into uh, the map you have to write uh, display uh, code so this the first code will add the composite image using uh, 432 or rgb image and the second code will add the clipped image using again similar band combination and the third one will add the classified image using the minimum value of zero and the maximum value of four using uh, blue green brown gray and uh, clean and it will uh, rename it as classified image so this is a total number of classes which is start from zero one two three four uh, which is five total number of uh, classes and the uh, blue for water green uh, for farmland uh, forest and uh, brown for farmland and built for bro gray and sharp for uh, cyan by cyan color so this will uh, display the image uh, using this color so let's run uh, this code and we will get the classified clipped in the composite image yeah so here as you can see we have uh, three layers added on the map so the first map is a classified image our classified image second one is a clipped image this is a, a total image of landsat image or landsat composite image so uh, i don't need this one so you can change the color in order to display the image by using this custom the, you can display it by using 100% stretch or two times uh, standard division based on your uh, stretching type you can apply and it displays the image in uh, color image
yeah so it uses different range of uh, uh, the image to display or to render the image so i'm going to turn off this layer so this is the classified image and this one is a clipped image similarly you can use uh, the stretch two times standard division of the entire image this will uh, create this kind of uh, clipped image for my area so if you check uh, the first uh, image which is classified image you can cross check it like this so as you can see you have five classes which shows uh, uh, land cover of this area so the first of so this is the water body again we have the forest land uh, this is the build up area again we have farmlands and shrublands this uh, cyan color is in shrublands so uh, this is uh, how you can classify the image uh, by using uh, machine learning algorithm like support vector machine uh, classifier in google Earth engine so in the next tutorial i will show you how to do the accuracy assessment of uh, this classification so this is all about my uh, today's video so thank you for uh, your time and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next uh, uh, video uh, goodbye